Hey there, I'm Vicki Howell, founder and stitcher-in-chief of Yarn Yay, and it is time for our June unboxing. This one marks the very beginning of our very first wool-free summer. So, for June, July, and August only, we are setting, our si setting aside our beloved aqua boxes and bringing you this coral burst of happiness. We have been talking about doing a series of wool-free yarns for, you know, quite some time. We have several uh, Yarnier subscribers who have wool allergies and they're wonderful and they just turn their subscriptions on and off whenever um, there's a yarn that they can use. But we thought it would be great just to have a three month block where we can serve people with wool allergies or maybe that people that just aren't that into wool, but also it gives us a wonderful opportunity to check out some of the lovely fibers that are mostly plant-based. So we are going to start that with June and without further ado, let's see what's in the June box. All right, first of all, magical tissue paper. It's not really, it's not really an item in the box, but it's called Tropic Thunder, so I feel like it needed to be noted. All right, so for our very first yarn of Wool Free Summer, we are going, we have teamed up with Chicken Coop Yarn Works, a company that is based here in Texas, and we are bringing you Chicken Little. It is a silk linen blend, and she has dyed this gorgeous color for us called Ripe Pistachios. So it's got that really on-trend sagey green with little bits of brown and little glimmers of blue and a lovely amber color. So I don't know if you've been looking through any fall fashion catalogs or online, but sage color is the color for the summer. So we'll be working with that. And this is a special put up that she did just for us. So this is our yarn and you're getting um, 193 yards of that. What are we making with it? Well, we are going with this whole sort of like 70s, like freestyle vibe, and we're gonna be making a couple of convertible scarves. So we'll start with the knit one. I designed the knit one and it can be worn as a long skinny scarf or it can be worn as a belt or as a, as a headband hanging or a headband across the forehead. It really is a convertible project. Got some fun little tassels and we will be learning how to do this basic chevron race. And, excuse me, chevron lace. And I always do tutorial videos um, and the Yarnier staff is there to help if you have any questions. All right, so for the crochet version, we're, it's much of the same. This one is designed bar, by our brand new designer in residence, Natalie Thomas. She is also known as Detroit Knots and she has made a really cool sort of braided looking version that can be worn in the same ways as the knit version. All right, and then with every box, you also get a booklet. The booklet will give you both patterns um, as well as information on full color um, pictures and information on all of the companies that you are supporting by supporting Yarnier. You also get digital patterns emailed to you as well. All right, next up, you will be getting, we had these made for Yarnier. A shawl pin that you can also use as a hairpin that you can also use as a belt pin so all of the ways that I just showed you to wear the um, project you can also use with this as well so this is just a really fun um, beautiful wooden again has that kind of 70s vibe my mom used to wear these in her hair um, when I was really little we lived in Colorado so um, that's just a sort of a beautiful little accessory and then I'm really excited about our last item. It is, uh, we've teamed up with a designer that I've wanted to team up with since I started Yarnier and whenever it was 2018. Um, and we just went back and forth and we finally figured out um, a way to make it work. And that is Laura Nelkin. I've known her for years. She's a really respected colleague and she does some amazing work with beads and jewelry. So she has created for us a jewelry or excuse me, a bracelet kit it's both knit and crochet, and we are making this version, you can kind of see where my finger is, that coordinates with the yarn that was hand dyed for us so that you can make um, a bracelet and wear it with your headband, scarf, belt, action. So all the beads are in here, the yarn that you need to knit or crochet it, and then there's a, there's a code to the patterns that are digital as well as a demonstration by Laura on how to knit or crochet it. So I'm really excited about, about that. It's a really great way to just delve into the world of fiber and beads uh, without making a large commitment. Plus it's really cute and just a great summer accessory. 
So that is it for our June box. I'm really excited to hear um, how you feel about all these non-wool yarns and about just that general sort of like summer breezy vibe. Uh, you will need a size E crochet hook for the project or a size five uh, knitting needle. We do have the knitting needles at yarnier.com so you can always grab one of those and we'll uh, do our best to throw that in the box with your with your other goodies. Um, besides that, um, all you need to know is that if you prepay for the summer, you will get the three summer boxes. You can also just go month to month. If you do do the prepay, you get a free ebook, digital download, and then we've got we've got gifts for six month and 12 month as well. So you can check that out at, at yarnier.com. And then the last thing I wanted to fill you in on for June is that we are really happy to be launching our handmade help desk. So a couple of our, my Yarnier team members are also um, well-known instructors, and they are going to be offering sessions, either semi-private or private sessions, where you can come in and get help with any of our projects or any projects that you're working on from, from anything. They don't need to be my designs or any of the designs that we house. They can be knit, they could be crochet, they can be Tunisian crochet, they can be sewn. Um, whatever you need help with during that time, you'll get either some one-on-one -on -one or small group sessions. So you'll be able to log into yarnier.com and figure out what works for you. All right, that's it. I cannot wait to uh, do a little wool-free knitting with you this entire summer. Please go to yarnier.com and don't forget to tell your friends.